for part two of this tutorial on how to insert an electronic signature into a document. We're going to do it in a PDF. Uh, it's just pretty common. You'll have to do that. So I went ahead and downloaded the um, kind of standard IRS W-9 document. Uh, it's a pretty common document that people have to fill out and increasingly we have to do this electronically. So I'm going to show you how to go ahead and fill that out. The key and the easiest way to do this in Linux is actually to use a program called Zernal. Uh, you should be able to find this in your repository. So if you're running you know, a Debian-based distribution or a different one as well, you should be able to find Zernal in your repository. I'm just going to show you real quick. Yep, there it is. So I usually do install it from the repository. Uh, it's a very simple uh, piece of software, but it works really, really well for inserting a signature and actually text and things into a PDF. Um, by default, I use Ocular to open my PDF. So if I just double click, it'll open Ocular. So I'm going to right click and hit Open With, and then go down to Zernal. And it'll pop up. So here's my W9 document in Zernal. And what you can see in Zernal, you've got a whole bunch of really nifty tools for kind of working with documents. Uh, basically, it's the, the tricky part about this is it's going to treat it once you kind of export it as a flattened PDF. So it's just going to be an image. But generally, that works for what people need. Um, so you can use Zernal to insert a whole bunch of you know, text, different things like this. I'm going to just focus on the one piece that we need down here. Uh, and this is, as I mentioned, kind of the second part of inserting your signature. Um, I'm going to expand this a little bit. There we go. Uh, inserting your signature into a PDF document. It's because I need to put my signature right here. Um, it's a little bit weird to find this, but it actually works out OK. So what you want is this little icon right here, which stands for image. Uh, you don't immediately recognize that, but that's the one that you want. So you click on that, and then nothing seems to change. It's just kind of weird. So the interface is not always intuitive, but just go to where you want to insert that signature and click. And then it's going to take you out um, to you know, search for files. And of course, in part one of this tutorial, uh, we created a PNG file of my John Hancock, right? My, my, not my signature, but a signature. Um, so you're just going to go out and find that. Make sure that you get the PNG file, not the JPEG file. If you get the JPEG, it's going to have the white background, and it's not going to look good. But if you get the PNG, this is going to look like a signature. Hit OK, and up pops our signature, and you can see that it goes right through because it has a transparent background. So we can actually put that in, and Zernal does make this fairly nice that you can adjust the size and it keeps all the ratios for you. So you can easily insert your John Hancock, your signature here, um, into any PDF document. If you also needed to say, insert the date, you can just click on up here. This is T for text, uh, and then select in here, and you could put in the date. Today is... I like European style for dates, so 0112 makes a lot more sense to me. You'll note that I kind of missed the line. I always do this because it kind of puts it low. To move any of these items that you insert in Zernal, again, a little bit counterintuitive, it's actually this icon right here, which is the select rectangle icon. Doesn't really make a lot of sense, but if you click that, you can now select this rectangle and move it to wherever you want. Same with this one. So you could actually select that and move it wherever you want. Once you're done inserting the information, of course, if we actually had to do this, we would have to fill out all this information up here. But you can do all of that in Zernal fairly easily. So I've inserted the signature, I've inserted the date. Then how to save this as a PDF so you can return it to somebody is actually file, not save, because it's going to save it as a Zernal file, but export to PDF. So if you hit that, and usually what I do, it does this weird thing where it does a .pdf .pdf, which makes no sense. So I usually just add to the end of it, signed. That is my signed PDF. Hit save, and it's done. And we can open that now in Ocular or whatever other PDF program that you use. And if you scroll down to where the signature line is, it's right there. So that is, it is a flattened document now, so you can't select the tag. Well, actually, it looks like it, you can on this one. Nice. Uh, OK, so anyway, my signature's in, and so is the date, which is very nice. It's all in there conveniently. So that is how you would 
sign or insert your uh, electronic signature, which is different from a di digital signature, that's how you would insert an electronic signature into a PDF document. And of course, you can also do this in a, a LibreOffice writer document or any other kind of document as well.